welcome to another Saturday. I can't believe it's already Saturday. I feel like these weeks, these days are going by way too fast. It's crazy. But yeah, I woke up not too long ago. I'm feeling really great this morning, really just fresh and motivated and I don't know. It's great. All I've had this morning is some water and I haven't eaten yet, so I'm about to go make my breakfast and I'm going to have a smoothie because I'm obsessed with having smoothies for breakfast lately. I don't know. Are you saying good morning? Are you sniffing? Oh, so nice. good tip for when you're making your smoothies is if you're going to use greens or dates is to blend them with the liquid so that you don't get any of the big like spinach chunks or date chunks in your smoothie. having a smoothie pretty much every morning especially every morning that I go to the gym and I've been having either a green smoothie with bananas and spinach or the smoothie that I made in my ab workout video that I posted the other day and I don't know I just been feeling really good having a smoothie in the morning it makes me feel really light and energetic and this is the first time that I've tried this combination I decided to add a date some vanilla and cinnamon for sweetness and oh my gosh it's so good it tastes like a creamy, like cinnamony, I don't know. It's so good. Hey. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> so Kyle actually just went out. I think he went to go get boxing gloves or something like that because his are like broken or he can't use them anymore or something like that. So I'm gonna wait for him to get back and I'm going to finish my smoothie and then I'm gonna get changed. And now we're going to the gym. Kyle's back. <laughs> He's got his, he got hand wraps and boxing gloves. Synthetic vegan boxing gloves. Yeah, are you they excited? Ain't, they ain't leather, <laughs> fake leather. Yeah, are you excited to use them at the gym? Yeah, I'm pumped. <laughs> TKO! is complete. I had a really great workout today. I did a warm up on the stairs and then worked legs and booty. And Kyle is still at the gym hitting the bag because he was filming most of my workout so he didn't really get to work out himself. So now I am going to the grocery store and I'm going to pick up a few things that we need. I don't know why, but I am so craving like baked cauliflower today for some reason. So I got a cauliflower and I'm going to make that for dinner and I'm really, really excited. I've got a whole basket full of stuff that I'm gonna carry on my back and walk home with. I think I got everything. Yep, we're good, we got everything. 
Okay, so now I'm going to make my bowl of oats for the day. You probably already knew that. And I'm actually gonna try a combination that I've never had before, surprisingly. Um, we've got fresh mango, which I'm really excited about. And it's like, smells sweet. And it's like just perfectly ripe today. I was hoping that it would be ripe today, <laughs> finally. And we've also got fresh strawberries. Literally my two favorite things ever. Probably strawberries are my favorite berry and mangoes are probably my favorite fruit. So I'm gonna have that on my regular oats. Tell that there's oats in that bowl. I made mango, strawberry, turmeric, oatmeal. I don't know. Did I stain the spoon? It's now turmeric spoon. You can't really tell. Oops. This mango is really good, so. Mm. Oh my gosh, you have to try this. This is so good. Quick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow, that's different. It's different, but it's good. It's good, yeah. Nice switch up from the regular tasting oats, I it's think. Healthy. Also, this bowl that I'm using, I just recently got a set of these bowls. Let me pull them out. I just, I got a set of these bowls. There's like a big, a big salad bowl and then like six of these little small bowls. And then there's also like salad tongs that came with it as well. And they're like handmade wooden bowls from the Philippines and I got them off a site that's like Craigslist but for Canada it's called Kijiji. So they're used. Um, a lot of people, because I posted them on my Instagram story first, a lot of people were asking me where they could buy them, and I got them secondhand, which is how I always recommend people to shop because it's the most eco-friendly way. Use, reuse, recycle. Um, yeah, so definitely look in your local area. Find a buy and sell website for your local area. There's always so many hidden gems and little treasures that you'll find. Right, Jack? Do you like them? Do you like them? I love those bowls. I love those bowls. Oh, look at them. Look at the poopy. We have to vlog Jack during the night because that's when Jack comes alive. That's yeah. that night. He's a night owl. Okay, guys, so it's dinner time now. Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> and like I said before, I was really feeling baked cauliflower, so we're gonna make baked cauliflower, and I wasn't really feeling making like cauliflower wings with like hot sauce and stuff like that. And so I immediately thought of one of Cam and Nina's videos where they made sort of like these curried cauliflower wings. So basically, I don't really know if I'm following their recipe exactly, but I'm gonna kind of emulate one of their meals that they made, and I'm really excited to try it out. Are you excited? I'm pumped. Pumped, Jack? I'm pumped. He's like, I just want to go to bed. He's <laughs> like, I just want treats and sleep. <laughs> treats and sleep. Treats and sleep.
Siri, put on music. Going to bed. Bye. Bye. Shout out to all the cats out there. <laughs> also, I'm not vegan for all of you asking. I'm not a vegan cat. I like to eat mice and mice meats. and rabbits and squirrels and birds. He's so predator. cute. He's a pred. Okay, guys, so this is dinner. I've got one and a wrap, and then I've also got this with. It's like kind of just like a mish of everything. Um, a lot of spinach, a little bit of rice and quinoa, and then some of like the leftover stuff. I just didn't really feel like having two wraps. But I'm gonna try the wrap right now. Oh, this is so good. That's amazing. Kyle took the other wrap. He's in a rush because he's off to a friend's house tonight. Man, this cauliflower, I mean, that's not even a good one. Look at that, it's so good. 10 out of 10 would recommend, this is amazing. Okay guys, so it's the next morning and I've inputted everything into a chronometer just now, so I'm going to share that with you. Um, so as you can see here, this is all of the food that I ate. I finished my dinner last night, it was so, so good. And then I also had an apple as a snack later on, um, so I inputted it here. I've been obsessed with having like apples as a snack. Cat is in the closet scratching. So it came to a total of 24, 23 calories. Um, pretty perfect number for me. Um, and then we've got 72% carbs. 15% um, fat and 13% protein, pretty good ratios. And then we scroll down here and this is all the vitamins and mineral breakdown. So as you can see, I've pretty much hit everything. Um, the only thing that I didn't get 100% was I got 99% on B3 <laughs> and 75% on vitamin E and 60% on selenium. This is just my sodium, so that doesn't really matter. Um, fat, I didn't get my target fat, which is okay. Um, and my omega-6. Uh, but I think this one is a very good comparison to the last one because in the last one, I'm pretty sure I hit like 100% on everything. Um, whereas this one, I pretty much like, everything is pretty much a-okay, but uh, I didn't get 100% on all of my nutrients. Like I said in the last video, things are going to fluctuate. Like may I may have the other day, I've gotten over 100% on my selenium, so getting 60% today is not a big deal. I really don't stress about these types of things. And then, so I got 83 grams of protein, um, most of which is coming from the soy milk and chickpeas. Also, if you notice up here, I've got 250% of my vitamin B12 and the last time I didn't get any B12 I don't think um, But when I was inputting my stuff this morning soy milk came up and it had an option for fortified or not fortified And I had no idea if my soy milk that I was drinking was fortified or not um, So I went and checked and it is so that's where I got most of my all of my B12 from as well as the soy milk um, yeah, so protein 87.3 grams, fat 42 grams, carbs uh, 458.9 grams, 
um, a lot of you guys wanted me to like hover over the um, certain nutrients to see where I've got most of my stuff from like calcium and iron um, so calcium um, most of my calcium is again coming from the fortified soy milk so I know a lot of you guys were struggling with getting enough calcium I saw a lot of comments like that on the last video that I did like this um, so I would suggest going with a fortified plant milk and incorporating that into your diet um, but also another big factor was the chickpeas and the spinach um, iron um, most of my iron came from quinoa quinoa and steel cut oats what protein um, again most of my protein came from the soy milk and then chickpeas and quinoa and steel cut oats and in half a cup of dry steel cut oats there's 10 grams of protein so there's a lot of protein in steel cut oats I think that's pretty much it so I think that this one is a really good comparison compared to the last video that I did like this because um, in the last one I think I had like four meals whereas this one I had three so it's a very like different kind of they were two very different days of eating um, and this one I think it seemed like I ate a lot less food but I ate pretty much the same amount of calories um, and also I mean this one I didn't hit all of my targets whereas the other one I hit like over 100% on like everything so yeah I really hope that you guys are enjoying these types of videos I know I got so <laughs> like so much wonderful feedback on the last one so that's why I really wanted to include it in this what I eat in a day video oh and the site that I'm using because a lot of people were asking the last time is called chronometer.com I'll put it right here um, it's a really wonderful website um, it's free to use and it's super user friendly like easy to just input everything but again I really don't do this every day I've only done this twice now to do this for the videos um, because like I said before in the last video I recommend going to check that one out because I did say a lot of good information in that one um, I don't track my calories every day and yeah I just don't really feel like it's necessary but I do feel like this is a really great way to show you guys some great examples on how sustainable it is, how easy it is to get in all of your nutrients and protein and, you know, all that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Definitely let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Leave any questions you have in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.